All right, so first of all, man, this is the same setting as the last video. This is the same place, the same clothing. I'm not taking off my shirt for the video. I'm not doing any of that shit. I don't fake nothing. Everything is real. Everything 100% authentic. Nothing is planned. I do things when I feel like timing is right, and I feel like it's the perfect timing. Everybody in my bro's house sleep. Uh, it's just me outside. I'm out here just living my best life. I'm in nature. Probably gonna make, probably gonna make a food video after this. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I think I'm probably ordering some food or something, but that, that's not why y'all came here. Y'all don't care about none of that shit. I hope y'all been good. I hope y'all been well. I don't know if this is going to be a couple days later, a day later. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I am trying to post on this channel at least once a week, my nigga. It's just to get everything all, all in my mind, off my mind, and put it out there on the world so I could build a community that we all could trust, lead, uh, connect. Build bonds together, live life, have fun together, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, first of all, I seen the title. Things I'll never do in a relationship, right? First of all, number one is compromising myself. Uh what's compromising myself, Omar? Um, go and get shit you believe. Uh, do me doing shit that you you uh, disagree with. Number one is being used. A lot of guys think they're not being used, but they actually being used. I see it happen to some of the close people around me. I don't say nothing's not my part. They don't come to me. Like I said, it's not my... I don't control y'all relationships. That's y'all relationships. But if you come to me, I'll tell you exactly how I see it. So, number one is um, getting used. And y'all y'all mistaken. Y'all probably thinking I'm talking about only money currency. Y'all forget it's other currencies in this world, my nigga. Other currencies such as in energy, time, attention. That's all fall around the same line. I know that. Um, other other things like um, dark energy, like arguing and shit. So, me as a man with a purpose, right? I would personally never waste my time doing that shit. I'm talking about all day long, man. If you're in a real relationship, y'all gonna obviously argue, bro. Y'all in a liber y'all in a real relationship. That's undeniable, bro. That's not that's not something. That's not optional, bro. But if you choose not to argue, then you're you're top G. I ain't gonna lie because arguing. It's like the most tempting thing. Like you want to, because like my dad said it. My dad explained it the other day the best. It's two people that really want to get out what they really want to say, but they just raising their tone of voice. You know what I'm saying? That's all arguing is. Arguing is just a another another sense like a deep conversation. That's all arguing is. It's just like a, a huge ass deep conversation. So number one, that's number one. Uh, compromising myself. You know, basically that falls in uh, under all the lines. Any way you can think of compromising yourself. Your girl uh, stealing from you. You still tapping. Your girl beating on you. You still you still accept her. No, nigga, she would have been out the door, my nigga. I don't play that shit. I don't like abusive relationships. I don't play like that, bro, because I know people around me I real life got beaten. And it's a, it's a story time for another day. But number two, bro, getting drained, bro, by your significant other. Okay, so getting drained, right? It's constantly back to back. Say you're in my situation. You're a high spiritual person. You to yourself. You don't really need nobody, but you want somebody, right? And yes, I do. I am looking for somebody, but it's not no rush, bro. Uh, it's definitely with time. God gonna show me with time, and that's when I'm. That's when I'm putting all my faith in. In your person, your your significant other, right? The person you with. They're very fucking draining. They always dead. They always depressed. They don't got shit going on for themselves. They they confused. They always lost, and all that shit. They're draining you, bro. So if you're in my position and the other person is in the position I just said, they draining the depression, all that shit, they're draining you. Leave that person alone, bro. Let me tell you why. Don't even waste your time, my nigga, because they're Jezebels. First of all, my nigga, they're holding you back. Every time you get on the phone with them, they don't have shit going on. There's always a deep conversation. They're always depressed. They're always falling into drug habits and all this shit. Leave that person alone, bro. You're not on that pedestal no more. Nigga, you're all the way up here. You're messing with somebody that's all the way down here. You don't need that energy around you, bro. What you need around you, to be honest with you, bro, you need somebody on, the, on about the same level as you. That's up hustling. Up, up, up out, out here doing what they got to do. Having fun, living life. Chilling. That's who you need. So, leave them draining motherfuckers alone, G. It's not worth it, cuz. I'm not lying to y'all. It's not. It's not worth it, sis. Bro, it's not worth it. Leave draining motherfuckers alone, G. Nigga, you're going to feel like you're so fucking vulnerable all the time. 
Cause you're like, bro, I just gave this motherfucker free game that I make, I make niggas pay for. It. And this motherfucker is still in my face crying about they depressed, they sad, and all that, bro. Come on, man. Leave that shit alone, bro. Number three, man. Um, feeling like you obligated to do things. You know, this could fall like in between number one. It's a beetle bug over there or some shit. Um, this could fall into number one or however category y'all want to put it. It depends on how you think. And me, I think it fall with number one too. But yeah, feeling obligated to do things. Okay, so a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends, right? Y'all feel like y'all always got to do shit for each other. Y'all niggas don't even, y'all haven't been dating for a month. Y'all feel like you got to buy her all that shit. You don't. Number one, you don't have to do shit for your girlfriend. Number two, you girls, you don't have to do shit for your boyfriend. If y'all just can't connect, the fuck is this square doing? Um, if y'all can't connect outside of spending money or currency, bro, a currency as in the money currency, if y'all can't connect outside of that currency, bro, y'all not meant to be. Let me tell you why, bro. Because that means when y'all both broke, y'all both down. And y'all don't got y'all y'all don't got shit going on. Y'all go always gonna be mad at each other. Y'all have nothing to talk about. Y'all have nothing to do. It's because y'all not connected on an emotional and spiritual level, on a bonding level. It's because y'all always going to do something yeah, from dates to movies. Like, what is this squirrel doing? This nigga is tripping. Um, from dates, movies, shit, going to museums and all that shit. If y'all name, if I can't sit in the backyard like this and just chill without even getting out of each other's neck for like five seconds, bro, don't be with the person. Let me tell you why. You're not obligated to do shit for him. So you're doing shit for him off the rip, make him, make him feel like, oh, well, he's obligated to do this every single time. But nigga, what if you ain't got it? What if you only got $80 in your pocket, bro? And you low key want to say that because you need that for gas week, gas money next week. You're done. Because she going to go to a restaurant, nigga, that bill will come to like 70 something. You only gonna have a little, a little twelve in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, stop feeling like you're obligated to do shit for people, man. That shit is dead. I'm not, obli I'm not obligated to do shit for nobody. If we, if we going out, don't get me wrong. I am paying for everything if we go out. But if we going, but if we just chilling, bro, at the crib, bro, I'm not doing no extra shit. I'm not inviting no friends over, so we go out, go go kick it somewhere. I'm not ordering no food. I got food in the crib, baby. If you don't like healthy food, get the fuck out. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm chilling. Or if I already got some food, I already know I'm planning on doing a little cooking, a little cooking and shit. That's different. But me, bro, I recommend for the first date, bro, y'all take y'all take y'all, y'all take y'all girl or whoever, chick, whatever, you, a little get down or a little girlfriend. Y'all take them somewhere chill. Somewhere chill as in no, not out to eat. Don't spend no money on the first date. You take her to your crib, nigga, your mama's crib, where everybody, you know, where everybody be cracking at, everybody be chilling at. So you can see how y'all get down shit. So after that day, she can know if she gonna fuck with you or not. Because you don't, this the worst thing ever, y'all. Y'all dating a girl for a couple months. She go on your family. She don't like how your family is, so she gonna break up with you. That's facts. If somebody don't like your family, bro, and y'all just met, most nine times out of ten, they're not gonna really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? They probably, already, they probably already talking to somebody else anyway, but that ain't none of your business as an individual. That's not none of your business. So take that person to your family house and see if they fuck with your family. First date. You said, well, bro, that's um breaking. You don't break people around the family that soon. It depends on the situation. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm the same way. I don't break people around the family so soon. It's, it's getting kind of hot. I know my shit about to turn on in a second. I'm, I'm, I don't want to get tight again. So, yeah, I know that, um, I know that you... Not really supposed to do that. It depends on the situation. If it's a really cool ass person, bro, don't worry about it, bro. If you really got confidence in that person, like you really got faith in the person, like y'all being, you can see them being being with it for a long time, then do it. But if you're not really sure about the person yet, and you probably if you're about the person, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? But well, that's the best way if y'all wondering how to get out of a real first date. Nigga, take them to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Y'all chilling. You go on the back and chill with the homies. Same thing with Ghost I agree with DJ Ghost you go chill with the homies, you go catch up with the bros outside or something, and you leave her in the living room with the sis, mom, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cousins, whatever. And she she talk to them and see what's up with them. I do agree with that, bro. I feel like that's the best way to go about first dates, bro, because you don't want to get that impression that you you giving and giving and you not getting shit in return. You know what I'm saying? If you give it, you get that impression that you're a trick off the rip, 
they're going to take it and run with it, my nigga. They're going to always ask you for money. Every time y'all go out, oh, where we going to eat at? And you're like, what the fuck, bitch? I just came to pick you up. You better go to the crib and watch Netflix. What the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's me right there. I'm like, bro, I'm not, I don't do all that, bro. I'm not always a going out nigga, bro, because I'm a, I'm an introvert, but I'm I'm outgoing. I can speak to people. I know how to talk to people, but doesn't mean I always want to do something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I said I'm coming to pick you up, doesn't mean we're going out to eat. And shit, that means we probably going to the crib. We probably chilling, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah, I'll drop you off next day or later that night, whatever. So, yeah, bro. That's number three, bro. Um, feeling like you obligated to do shit with people. Number four, bro. Don't build a sexual connection with somebody that you feel like that you really want to be with. Okay, so I know a lot of people have to argue about this. Like, hey, um, I didn't know I want to be with the person for a little minute until after we had sex. Okay, so look at it like this. Look at it like this, right? So y'all always had, y'all always sex, y'all always sex, and y'all never really had no deep conversations, whatever, right? And then you feel like you want to be with them. You don't want to be with them. Let me tell you why. You only feel like that way about them because what y'all did to each other. It's called a sexually emotion. You know what I'm saying? Sex, a sexual attachment. That's that's the real word for it, a sexual attachment. You don't really want to be with that person. You just feel like you want to be with that person in that moment. But you might actually fall emotionally attached to somebody else. But y'all ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't never fucked. You feel me? So, number one, me number whatever, four or five. Don't never, ever, if you see yourself being with somebody, bro, stop it right there. Build an emotional attachment before y'all build a sexual attachment. As soon as y'all build a sexual attachment, it's over. As soon as you arguing, as soon as you arguing with whoever, you always mad, who you hitting up? You gonna hit the nigga, you gonna hit the hit nigga or the chick up that you got sexual attachment with, and boom. And that could fuck you up with the wrong one, because let me tell you why, you build a sexual attachment with just random niggas or random females. Because that can ruin your relationships that people that you really care about. You know what I'm saying? So, don't do that, bro. Don't build sexual attachments with people that you really want to be with. Because you do want to be with the person which y'all sexually attach. And nine times out of ten, the other person don't see you like that. They just see you as some pussy or see you as some dick. So, yeah, don't do that, bro. Number five. This is all life lessons, too, my nigga. Number five, um, this mainly, this from my guys and my girls. Because uh, I see a lot of girls becoming it because guys just stop doing it. Um, it's not necessarily being a simp. This all build. This all this shit is basically <laughs> about simps. Be honest with you. Um, respect, my nigga. The person don't have no respect for you. Leave it alone. You like, oh, Mar, what you mean by respect? Hold on, give me like five seconds. It's getting kind of hot out this bitch. I'm getting kind of a headache. I gotta eat some. I ain't gonna lie. But I think it's pushing like two o'clock. Put my jewelry up. Hold on, give me like five seconds. Man, Omar, what you mean, man? Omar, what you mean? Omar forgot what he said. Hold on. I think about it. Uh, respect, yeah. Somebody don't got respect for you, bro. And respect is built off your relationship overall. So, long relationship, you see the chicks be disrespecting their dudes, it's because they know they're not really about nothing, they don't really stand no morals, they don't have, nine times out of ten, they don't have self-respect for themselves. So, if you are, you always see, see how, how they woman treat, see how somebody woman treat them, that tells you everything you need to know about that guy. Same thing with the, uh, not really, really, really with the females, man. As guys, we just hear females talk and we just, just blow it off, man. Because one minute they said they ain't never going to talk to their friend again. Then they right back on the friend, on phone with the friend the next night, bro. So we know how that shit go. So I don't really, it's not vice versa. It's really more like, um, more like a single Henley male side, right? So, respect. Um, y'all don't got no respect for each other. It's not going to work. Dude going to tire. He going to get tired and feel like he disrespected. And he going to find a chick that respect him. Same thing with the female. If you just in here calling your female a gang of bitches and hoes and shit like that, she gonna find somebody that's not calling her that. And I'm not saying that she gonna find a lame nigga. I'm just saying she gonna find a respectful person. So respect, bro. That's one thing I never do. I never sit around here and disrespect my females, bro. Um, I love females. You know what I'm saying? 
I, if I didn't love females, like this video wouldn't be here right now. I'll be honest with y'all. Because I'm telling you all for uh, life experience. Uh, do we all mess up? We all fuck up? Yes. We all, we all human. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that you just make that excuse to, for you to keep doing it. Because, like, damn, I already went down a dark path. So let me just keep doing it. Nah, nigga, ain't no excuse. You can always change. Anybody can change, nigga. A felon can change to be a millionaire. What makes you think that you can't change to be a better person? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, really, man, life is just about ups and twisted turns. No matter my list matters to you or is it relevant to you or not, it's relevant to me, man. Because I'm, now when I know, when I get into my, my next real relationship, I'm going to approach it on a on a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? Number six, let me give y'all a bonus one. Let Omar think about this for a second. I do all this off the top, bro. I don't write shit down. I'm about to start writing some things down so videos could be shorter because this video about to be like 10 minutes, about to be like 20 minutes. Um, think about this, man. I want to be like ones that y'all can really think about. Not the shit y'all always hear. Y'all always hear niggas talk about the red flags and all that goofy shit, man. Nobody really care about that shit. To be honest with you, I don't care. But... It's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna explain it too. This is like probably on everybody's list, but just a bonus one. I ain't wanna think too hard because I don't wanna be here for like 20 minutes just thinking. Uh, cheating, man. Don't tolerate cheating. I don't care how much, I don't care how good the dick is, ladies. I don't give a fuck how good the pussy is, fellas. Don't tolerate cheating, man. Cheating is a sign of disrespect, bro. And let me explain. Uh, yeah, here the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the birds. I think that's birds. Bugs are uh bugs or birds. It's a sign of disrespect. Let me tell you why. Um, uh, you been through you been through everything with anybody, right? And they just cheat on you. That hits different, man. And then, honestly, fellas and females, none could be. You could be completely fine. Your dick could be good, guys. Pussy could be good for uh, females. It's just that it might be something just not there for them. Clicking in their head. You got to realize there's nothing wrong with you, bro. That's something that's, something that's personally wrong with the person, the individual that cheated on you. It's the temptations, bro. Like, people can't beat. That's the word I'm looking for. People can't beat their temptations. So don't tolerate it, bro. They got to learn their lesson. And learning their lesson by getting rid of them. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be hard, bro. You gonna think about that motherfucker every day, especially if you was with that motherfucker for years. You gonna think about you gonna think about that motherfucker every single day. Like, damn, I really missed that nigga, but that nigga really did, did, did. Like, damn, I really missed that bitch, but damn, you know what I'm saying? But y'all got to realize, man, if you don't respect yourself, they not. Cause if you let them come back after cheating again, they gonna keep doing it. It's, it's gonna be a cycle. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna catch him with a new bitch, or you gonna catch him with the same? You catch him with the same bitch, it's worse. You catch catch her with the same nigga, it's worse. You can, then it, it's worse than catching them with a different one. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all got to realize, man, self-respect, man. You ain't got no self-respect. You have nothing in this earth. All you got is your word. You got your word. That's all you got is your word, bro. That's all I can think of. I can't say respect and, and pride, bro, because it's always, it's always going to be a motherfucker out there trying to down your pride and down your respect. You know what I'm saying? Even if you, you don't got no smut on your name, whatever, or females, or if you ain't got no, they don't got shit on you, they still gonna disrespect you, you know what I'm saying, they still gonna try to doubt you, they gonna still dub your pride and dub your word, you know what I'm saying, so all you got is your word, bro, all you got is your word in yourself, that's what I'm looking for, you got your word in yourself, fam, and nobody gonna have your back like you, that's that's the message, that's the end of this, that's the message for the end of this video, ain't nobody gonna have your back like you, even you in a relationship, cause they still gonna be in it. My females still gonna be entertaining them little niggas on the phone. My guys, you still gonna be trying to hit Tiffany and Brittany. So, my best word of advice for everybody focus on yourself, bro. How can you focus on yourself in the relationship, bro? Warren? Focus on yourself, bro. It's all within you, bro. Everything you want is on the other side of that step. You gotta focus on yourself, G. Omar.
Signing out.